Hello, my name is Jerry Halliwell Horner from your first cousin across the ocean. All I was trying to do at that moment in time was to be true to who I am. It's very American, you know, that patriotism of like, yeah, be who you are. And so I learned that from you. That dress was a British flag on a little Gucci dress stitched together. And so when I left the Spice Girls, I auctioned it off for a charity and it ended up at the hard rock cafe. I don't have it myself, but I thought, you know, it's quite nice for you Americans to go and see it. The word girl power, that existed before, you know, I came along. I just heard it and I thought, oh, that really rings true. And like anything, it evolves. The term has got broader, deeper, wider. I want to be useful. I want to empower others and encourage and support. And so if I can do that through, you know, literature, through the power of words, you know, that, that makes me feel good. I have to say, I love Whitney Houston. I think she's incredible. I love um, Mariah as well. My son, who is six, he, he's obsessed with Lego and he did the Lego Titanic, but he loves Celine Dion's My Heart Will Go On. It's such a hard question to answer because hindsight is a beautiful thing. But I would say, definitely say to myself, you know, that you're enough and you know i love you no matter what you do and you know just really install that self-worth my husband and he's not a big reader he goes okay i'll read it when it's coming out and the first thing he went to me he went oh it's much better than i thought it was going to be our partners are always our greatest critics and then he said to me oh actually i couldn't put it down because i just wanted to know what happened next i was like okay my heart is full i can feel what the you know, the world is feeling. And if I put my finger to the wind, I feel like we need a new hero. We need someone ordinary that maybe it's a power from within. It's, you know, it's finding the courage you never knew you had. When you write characters that are, you know, that are, let's say quite challenging, you can't help but put different parts of yourself. I think everything is copy. You know, you see, you know, you meet different people and think, oh, I'm gonna take a bit of you and then a bit of that person over there and smash them together. And it's like, it's like cooking. It's quite good fun. The song is like perfume. It's just one, like, it's like a shot. That's off and off you go. And it gives you that instant uplift. So when you get a story and through characters, you can process your own stuff through them. Like Rosie, like her mum dies. My father died when I was young. So dealing with grief, it's in there. And they can encourage you to, you know, find the courage you never knew you had. One can't really get that cross if you're wearing a cream or white and there's like a little bit of chocolate or spillage. I just think, well, no one's perfect. There's a rug maker I know. It's a Persian rug maker. They always leave a little bit of undone on the rug on purpose because it's a reminder we're not perfect. If I may look pristine and there's a little bit of chocolate down my top, it's a good reminder, humility. I haven't got this. I'm geekily curious about everything. I'm lazy, but I'm curious. For example, physics. I'm reading about physics, but I'm reading it from a, in a children's, you know, middle grade book, so I can get it. Um, learning about um, fusion. I just like learning, I'd say. I think it's a superpower. It's been so amazing to speak with you all at Pop Sugar. I really hope that you enjoy Rosie Frost and the Falcon Queen because it's time to find your power.